Hello, good morning or almost afternoon. Do you remember that song? Maybe if you're my age, I'm 74. Dreamers, nothing but a dreamer. Do you remember that one? <laughs> well, I think myself, that's my personal opinion. I think there are a lot, sadly, a lot of Americans the dream of coming to the Philippines and only find out uh, that in many ways they're not going to be able to afford to live here. The reason being is that they come here with the intention of transferring their life as they know it in America or in Europe or in Australia, let's include everyone, and they expect to replicate that lifestyle here in the Philippines. Now, of course, that's a great idea anywhere in the world to try and live the way you do back home in a foreign country. You can also build a house that's very similar to a Western style home, have all the Western style features and uh, effectively start your new life with a pretty, I was going to say a pretty blonde, but a pretty dark-haired Asian lady from the Philippines. Now, for some, and I say some, fortunate people, I include myself, um, that is possible. And the main reason is two things, really. Headspace and a pension. Without those two things, you will never survive in the Philippines to your own satisfaction. Because if you keep comparing this with that, in other words, this and Australia, this and England, this and New York or San Francisco, you will always find difficulty with the result. You are going to need to have a complete change of mind set. And as a result, you will be required to come down a peg quite a bit in terms of your attitude towards life, towards what you expect from others, and most importantly, how you think you can change things when really you can't. You go with the flow, as they say. If you don't like it, well, my mother used to say, if you don't like it, lump it. Well, that is really quite true here because you will not change the simple fundamentals of the Philippines. In time, decades, and maybe half another century ahead, maybe things will slowly change through circumstance. But you and I probably won't be here to see that. Not unless we're going to live over a hundred. And everything that you do here in the Philippines is like starting a new relationship anywhere in the world. The only difference is we're on a different planet. It's a beautiful planet here. And I'm sure back where you came from, it's beautiful there too. But the only difference is, you have a chance to wipe the slate clean. You don't have to bring your past here. You can start afresh. Some of you may have a reason to hide your past. I hope not. But those who want to forget all the sad things of life and focus on the positive, the Philippines is a great place to do that and to do it from a pace and a position of relaxation, calmness and contentment. It's all up to you guys. If all you want to come here for is to score points, say, huh, oh, I showed them. Well, it might work for a little while, but after a while you're going to build up resentment from those around you because the best way to get on with people is to assimilate 
into their way of thinking and their way of life because you're sharing your life now with them. You're not bringing America, Australia, England or New Zealand here. Little bits of you will come and it might be by a picture that you brought with you. It might be a flag from your country. It might be old souvenirs from your old country. But ultimately, it's now the Philippines is your home. Set your mind straight. If you're coming from a poor background in America, England and Australia, it's going to be even harder because you're going to be suddenly respected where you weren't at home. And you're going to find yourself elevated in society. You're a senior. They think highly of you. They will be polite to you. They will give you assistance. And that's something that, as a poor person in our own country, we're almost a forgotten breed. And therefore, it's a very pleasant surprise to suddenly get our mana back, as the uh, New Zealanders would say. I have my mana. It's my respect, my status in society. And therefore, I wish you all luck. Don't take too much heart. If you disagree with my videos, tell me. Tell me why. Tell me why. And I may be able to comment back if I can be humorous, if I can be constructive, or maybe sarcastic. But either way, I'll try and comment to your comment. So please give us a thumbs up. You might have 1,000 views and only 30 thumbs up. Hmm. That's not a very good hit rate, is it? It costs you nothing. Every time I watch somebody's videos, the first thing I do, I recognize them by giving them a thumbs up. I think that's what's happening. People aren't putting the thumbs up. When you watch it, it asks you all those little questions along the top in figure form. The thumbs up, just press like. Even if you don't have to like it. Even even if you don't like it, press it down. I don't mind. It's all of you. You have a great day now. Bye.